My name is Almira Strange and I'm a psychologist and life coach. And in the today's video, we'll be discussing how to be more disciplined and achieve what it is you truly want. Well, let's discuss how to know what you want to achieve. And this might not be an easy task to do. What it is we want to achieve in life, what we want to achieve in career and in other areas of life is very important. Actually, it is very important to address every area of your life and see how satisfied you are with your life in general and what it is you would like to accomplish, where you see yourself in a year time and three years time. But today we are talking about work and career related area of your life. How do you know where you want to be? This is where self-coaching comes into play. This is where we have to ask ourselves various questions. And the most important question is, if my life was ideal, perfect, or almost perfect, what needs to be there? Where you would like to see yourself? On which level? With socializing, with the work you do on a daily basis, with the finances or earnings you are getting each month? You want to become clear about what you want to do in life. For that, you might ask yourself a series of questions such as what is my life purpose? What am I good at? What are my strengths? But what are my weaknesses? If you decided you want to become a therapist or a coach or a psychologist and that's the career path that you would like to follow or your life path, if you want to call it in other words, now you need to understand what it is you want to do on a daily basis as the main part of your life, who you would like to support, and which kind of area, whether it's a fitness, health-related, psychology or mental health, who is your ideal client, who is the client that you would like to work with, how you would like to support them, through communication, through writing, through blogging, through writing books, or delivering your coaching or therapeutic services. The more you think about where you want to be and what your ideal life would be in one or three years time, the more you will start understanding what is your life purpose in the end of it. Your life purpose can be identified by thinking about what you are good at, what you are interested in, and what is your strength, what you can share with other people, in which way you would like to affect people's lives. If, for example, you found yourself that you went through a life experience that taught you some skills, some coping skills, for example, you went through grief and bereavement, or you know the experience of raising children, or perhaps it was something to do with weight loss where you achieved a significant result and now you have quite a lot of knowledge about diets and how to follow them and how to self-discipline. And perhaps that's what you want to share with other people so they could change their life and health for the better. So for the time being, that is your life purpose. And you can focus on that, even if it will be modifiable and will change in some time in your life. So knowing where you want to be and making a plan of getting from your point, point A, which is the current point, to the point B where you would like to be ideally, that already gives you an idea achieving the life you want to live. Making a plan is not easy and sometimes we hire coaches and therapists who can help us to understand what we are good at and how to get from where we are to where we want to be. I have a few videos that address procrastination and how to be clear about who you would like to work with and how to structure your business and business plan. And that can help you to have a clear vision of where you want to be and what you want to achieve. And the next step is to review your habits and see which habits don't serve you, which habits draw your time and energy needlessly, and which new habits you can add to your life and replace your old habits. Well, I hope this message is what you needed to hear today. And if you like this video, please like it and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done it yet. Thank you for watching and I will see you in my next video.